Hi, my name is Anastasia and today we're gonna look at this beautiful thing. So the XP pen somehow found me on the internet, they looked at my artwork, they loved it and they sent me an email asking if I want to review their product and I said yes, please, sure, why not, totally yes. And so they kindly sent me this display. This is actually the first time somebody sent me something. So I'm really excited to open it and see what's inside, how it looks like, how it feels like. And I'm gonna tell you my opinion on it. And I'm really excited to own one of this because I've, I've always dreamed of having one of this. So I think it's time to see what's inside. So let's take a closer look. On the back we have some basic information and specifications of what's inside. Let's open it. ta -da! This nice fox is kindly greeting us. We'll put away the display for now and leave the most interesting part for the dessert. After removing the white thing, we see different kind of adapters. One for the people who don't use metric system. One for the people who use metric system. One for the muse. And one for the people who've seen a kangaroo with their own eyes. Next thing we open is the special portable stand. Pull the support plate back until you hear a click. And it's ready. We'll put it away for now. Under the stand we have a box full of nice loot. A card with a QR code for the drivers. I just googled drivers actually. This is too high tech for me. Gorgeous and soft piece of cloth. Very handy. You can also use it for your glasses and phone. A warranty card. I never actually opened warranty cards, so I have no idea what's inside. A nice thank you card. A wonderful and cool glove. If you don't have an air conditioner at home like me, and dying from the heat right now, you're totally gonna need this thing at summer. It's actually one of the most useful accessories for digital artists, I should say. Didn't know how helpful gloves are till I got one myself. Totally recommend. Next is guide. Please read it carefully before plugging anything into anything or downloading anything from anywhere. And the last box contains all the cables you're gonna need. Now let's get to the most interesting part. The pen. I'm just in love with this pen. First of all, it's in the box. The whole box is just for the pen. On one side we have eight replaceable nibs. On the other side we have a pen. The cool thing is that the pen holder is also a pen stand. How cool is that? I think it's awesome because sometimes you don't want to draw and you want to clean your table and you need to put everything away and here you just take the pan, take the stand, put it in a pan holder and that's all. It won't get dusty, you won't lose it, you won't lose all the stuff that you need for the pan. The holder for example. I find this thing actually is one of my favorite about this tablet. I was really impressed when I saw it the first time. Here you have everything you need in one box. This is awesome. I love it. Now it's time to open the display. Here you see me struggle with the plastic cover. And finally, the most satisfying moment. The screen size is one RAM memory card in width and two RAM memory cards in length. And here is the size and numbers, if you prefer it this way. By the way, the display comes with a protective film. I didn't even notice it before I've read about it. This is how natural it feels. Now you just basically plug everything in where it belongs and you can get started. After that, you go to the site, download drivers and install them. It has eight shortcut buttons, which you can set as you like. And a wheel. Oh, this wheel. 
oh my it's so satisfying i can't even explain and the sound it makes just ah awesome the wheel is also customizable and this is how my perfect shortcut set looks like now when i've showed you the tablet let's talk about the testing and drawing experience So I've been using this tablet for more than a month now. I've already made several artworks, tutorials, poses, references on it. And I should say that this display became my main tablet. And I had no discomfort from switching from the graphic tablet to the display. It's actually super comfortable to work with. And I was even surprised by that. Because when I got an iPad, my first artworks on it looked not so cool. And I couldn't get used to it for quite a long time. It felt really unnatural. I don't know why, but maybe it's also connected with Procreate because it's different too from the Photoshop. It's, it's the same, but it's different. I don't know how it works, but it feels differently. So basically my first tablet with screen for a drawing was an iPad 2018. So XP Pen Display is actually my first display which connects to a computer. I've had a usual graphic tablet before and didn't even think about getting display. Because, well, it works. It, you, you know, it works. It still works. It's in perfect shape. Not in perfect, but in shape. It works. It's doing its job. Why would you get another one when the previous one works? Why? Why? Like I know I, I know I wanted display, but the old thing is still working. It works. It works. It's doing its job. But I should say that this display is totally worth it, like getting one. Several years ago, when I was getting started with drawing, only super professional artists could afford them. And I couldn't even think about getting this kind of stuff. But now they're kind of really affordable. Also, the display size turned out to be enough for a comfortable drawing. Because I know the bigger they are, the more expensive they become. So if you want to get a little one, but afraid that it's gonna be too small, don't be afraid, size is good enough. For a drawing, it's really enough. 12 Pro also has a perfect size for traveling. And don't forget about all these adapters, you know? You can use them when you go traveling. I also wanted to mention that you can use this display as, well, second display. In my case, as third. I had to go to the shop to get an adapter, actually. But it didn't cost much, and now I have three screens. Now I use my main screen for the references, or watching some videos while drawing. Also, you can set hotkeys differently for different programs. This actually opens so many opportunities. For example, here I'm moving through Timeline Premiere using this awesome wheel. I'm just giving you some ideas how to use this thing. Maybe you'll find it helpful, who knows? So, my verdict. What can I say? It feels nice. It works really fine. And I love it. It became my main tablet. I use it almost every day and I feel great. And it has a really affordable price. Even for a beginner artist. You can use it as a second screen. Just as a screen. Yes, it costs more than a usual screen, but you can draw on it. So, I really hope that you like this video. This is my first review video or unboxing video. I was pretty nervous making it, but I'm happy I made it. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please know that it made me happy. We'll see you soon. Bye.